He is a leading American expert in international law. He was responsible for drafting the Biological Weapons Anti-Terrorism Act of 89 that was then ratified, the American Imp Implementing Legislation of the 1972 Biological Weapons Convention. He served on the board of the directors of Amnesty International uh, for four years as well and represented Bosnia and Herzegovina at the World Court. He serves as a legal advisor to the Palestinian delegation of the Middle East peace negotiations. Uh, he, in 2007, delivered the uh, Bertrand Russell Peace Lecture. And I'm not going to, it just goes on too much, but top of his class at Harvard and PhD, magna cum laude, political science, uh, also from Harvard. And I, I just can't go over the rest of it. He, he's run, uh, you know, you know, major commissions on uh, genocide. Uh, so he, he's a world expert uh, on, on, on nukes, bioweapons, you name it. He's got the contacts. And he does his research, and he's here to present what he thinks is going on with Zika, Zika and where he thinks it's going. What we are dealing with here is some type of um, bio-warfare agent that has been uh, genetically modified, GMO. Um, so for that reason, you really can't believe anything the WHO, the Pan American Health Organization, uh, the CDC um, is telling you. Uh, it also appears, as, as you correctly point out, that uh, Gates uh, was involved in this. Um, you know, Bill Engel has the book on Gates that he's he's basically a, a genocidalist. Um, he does have people uh, on his staff with experience uh, having done what I call death science, life scientists who do bio-warfare uh, work. Um, it appears that um, the uh, U.S. Advanced Biowarfare Facility at Galveston uh, was involved. It also appears that the um, uh, uh, BSL-4 facility at Colorado State that works uh, with GMOing uh, mosquitoes was involved, and that um, uh, this uh, British high-tech firm, Oxitech, was involved. What is what is uh, critical here is that uh, I believe it was the summer of 2004, a, uh, there was a scholarly paper published saying that these uh, genetically modified uh, mosquitoes could be dangerous if they were released. And despite this knowledge, they were released both in uh, Brazil and also in Colombia. Uh, deliberately and maliciously. Now, why Brazil and Colombia? Brazil, you hit, you hit the uh, Atlantic coast uh, of Latin America, and Colombia, you hit the uh, Pacific coast of Latin America, and you set off a pandemic. So, as of now, uh, I, I think that's what's going on. I, I'll continue to monitor the situation and, you know, act in accordance with the um, uh, best information I have. But uh, I uh, don't think you should trust anything the CDC, the WHO, uh, the Pan American Health Organization is telling you. Uh, they're all in cahoots with Gates. The Brazilian government is uh, in cahoots with Gates. They're all up to their eyeballs in this stuff. Um, um, this uh, so-called Zika is also transmitted by uh, sexual intercourse, which I think proves that we have a uh, GMO uh, biowarfare agent at work here. And it is also uh, transmitted by saliva. And that indicates to me that we could be dealing with some type of uh, GMO um, gain of function bio warfare agent, namely that, that it could jump. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm continuing to monitor the situation, see what I can, but under the circumstances, uh, that's, that's the best I can give you, Alex. What is it with these people? It's not just population reduction. They're clearly running all sorts of weird bio operations against us. Uh, it's horrible. Cancer and all this other stuff is exploding. From your expert, wider analysis, what does this warfare operation 
look like to you or are they still in a mass testing phase? What's the end game? And then what do we do about Zika? Obviously, nobody should go down south. Instead, our borders are wide open. I mean, they're just bringing in people with drug immune TB. Uh, what, what, what is the end game here of diseasing the whole world? Well, um, with, you've raised an awful lot of uh, issues there. Yes, Let me just say that um, even Professor Chomsky, who is on the faculty at MIT, has publicly stated that basically MIT is a front organization for the Pentagon, and most of its money comes from the Pentagon. In the case of uh, 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 biowarfare, uh, we know for the fact that the Harvard-MIT Broad Institute uh, helped set off the uh, uh, Black West African uh, Ebola campaign, uh, sorry, pandemic. Uh, with some type of uh, GMO uh, biowarfare uh, organism over there, and then tried to cover it up with an article in Science Magazine that I publicly debunked in uh, 15 minutes. Sure, it's uh, just like them now saying that, that ISIS built its own Stinger missiles, and at the bottom of the article it said they got them from the U.S. It's like, oh, you know, this weaponized thing just appears, this Stinger missile just appeared, uh, this Zika just appeared. I mean, it's crazy. Well, that's correct. It, it, I've added it all up, and it, the United States government has spent $100 billion, $100 billion at least, on uh, researching biological weapons uh, since 9-11-2001. Now, to give you an example, in constant dollars, the uh, uh, Manhattan Project to develop the uh, atom bomb costs $40 billion. So we're already over twice, two and a half times as much. So it's clear that the United States government uh, uh, is running an offensive biological uh, warfare program. Uh, indeed, it, it goes back at least to the Reagan administration, as I uh, documented in my book. Um, it's mega it, massive, it, it's underground, and what do you think its goals are? Well, I, I think we're seeing it with respect to the um, Black West African uh, um, Ebola pandemic. Pop control, and, uh, destabilization. Uh, uh, now the um, uh, uh, Latin American uh, uh, Zika pandemic against um, uh, blacks and browns down there. This is um, population control and reduction. Right. And, and you also mentioned um, the outbreak of uh, swine flu in uh, Ukraine. Uh, there is a uh, U.S. biowarfare facility there. And uh, the, um, we know that swine flu is a uh, genetically engineered triple chimera. So uh, even President Putin and um, their new national uh, security directive have publicly accused the United States government of waging biological warfare against them. And I believe that is a correct conclusion from what I can see. Yes.